we are back with another handheld video. Again, working on a uh, ROG Ally X. This is for a customer as well. And we are gonna give this brand new inbox ROG Ally X the coin drop upgrades. Hopefully you saw the video of me doing that to a used ROG Ally X that was also for a customer. This one's brand new. So I've never seen what this actually comes with. So we are gonna unbox it first right here so we can see this crunchy crispy brand new rog ally x what it looks like and what we have <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do some pretty cool upgrades to this, not just the OS uh, de-bloatization <laughs> that we normally do and that we do with the they did with the other one. But this one, we are gonna upgrade the SSD and we are gonna de-bloatify the OS as well as some other stuff. Here we go. Lift that up. What do we got in here? Oh, here we go. This is like the little piece. This came with the original. This is like little docking piece of cardboard there. So that's nice. It's a nice box. Got a little overlay explaining to you the ports and whatnot. And here it is, the ROG Ally X itself. We will set that to the side and let's see what else is in the box here. Got our power adapter in here. Is actually different than the power adapter that was on the other one. Interesting. Okay. In here, I assume we have some instructions or something. Let's see what we got. Yep, some instructions. Okay, cool. Power adapter, we will need that. So we'll leave that there. And let's do the peel. This right here. The plastic peel. Crispy. Brand new ROG Ally X. Oh, it's beautiful. Brand new system. All right. Feels crispy and brand new. Absolutely feels amazing. Okay, so same procedure that we did last time. Removing the six screws down here to get to the SSD. So this is the part where you want to be a little bit careful because there are clips, plastic clips here. However, they aren't very strong clips, so they don't hold it too strongly in, which makes taking it apart a little bit easier. That being said, I am going to pry it open a little bit so that I don't damage anything. There we go. And on this side as well. There we go. Same piece of tape that we had on the other one. I have no idea if there are actually multiple revisions of this, but we are gonna lift that and pull out that ribbon to fully disconnect the back. That's the back disconnected. This is a one terabyte model by default as well. And I am gonna use this little spudger, metal spudger to pull that back. There's a little metal piece that gets pulled back there. And we should be able to lift up on the battery connector. I don't want to tear any wires out. There we go. So just pry it out, disconnect the battery, and there's our SSD. So just like the other one, we are going to take this out and our SSD will pop up and we just wiggle, pull this out. There we go. Removed the factory SSD. This should be the same exact SSD that we had in the other one. Is this a 512? It's got a single chip of one terabyte, whereas the other one had two chips, which were 512 each. Interesting. Oh, and this is a Samsung SSD. I don't think the other one was Samsung. So maybe the other one had been upgraded already before we upgraded it to the two terabyte. Either way, this is the brand new SSD. And as you can see, four chips, because this is a four terabyte SSD with a Fizen controller. The other one is an SMI controller. If you know anything about SSDs, that might matter to you. It might not. I tend to like Fizen a little bit better. But either way, here's the four terabyte new SSD. I'm gonna put the stock thermal sticker on there just so it looks like it hasn't been modified if you take 
it apart. And this is very easily just slid into place right here at kind of a 45 degree angle. You will put this back. This is a four, four terabyte SSD, as I had mentioned before, which is possible because we are using a full 2280 SSD instead of the 2230, which has traditionally been in a lot of popular handhelds, handheld PCs. And I don't like 2230 SSDs because as of now, they kind of max out at two terabytes. SSD's been upgraded, time to plug it in because it will not power on due to its safety measures uh, until it's plugged back in. And the first thing we wanna make sure of is, is it charging? And it is, as indicated by that light there. And let's power this on and we should get right into the BIOS, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. Got the vibration, there it is. Okay, now we got the boot up. Now, that's the post. There we go, we're right into the BIOS. Um, you can see that we're at 46% battery. And, uh, let's see if we can check the storage in here. Right here, there it is. Right there, storage, as you can see, four terabytes right there. So that's what we've got. So now we've upgraded the SSD, but there's no software on here. This is where we de-bloatify everything, right? So by default, Asus installs Armory Crate and a whole bunch of stuff and, and Windows and all that stuff. But Windows is bloated to crap and uh, we kind of take care of that with the CoinDrop Customs uh, treatment of the device. So I'm going to go ahead and start that process and uh, then I'll show you guys the results just like I did with the other ROG Ally that we had. All right, so I think we are done with this with this ROG Ally X. And I'll just show you guys real quick. We will boot it up. So there we go. There's our signature wallpaper that we always put on. Obviously, you can feel free to remove that if you don't like it. That is perfectly fine. The main upgrade that we're going to see here, I already kind of showed you, but if we go into Windows right here, you can see that storage number. It's basically a naked drive, nothing on it at this point, no bloat, runs fantastically fast, and you just saw how fast it booted up. It was great. So this is primed and ready. This customer didn't request that I install anything else, um, just to make sure drivers were all updated, uh, remove all the bloat for windows and all that stuff. So that's what we've done. We gave it the CoinDrop Customs treatment and now it's working fantastic. And yeah, I can't wait to get this out to the customer. We are gonna pack it up, basically try to make it as new as possible because it started out new. So I'm gonna shut this down. At least they can get somewhat of an unboxing experience of their own device. You know, I feel disappointed that they didn't get their own unboxing experience. So I'm going to wipe down their screen as best as I can. Hopefully they can get a screen protector so it looks all nice. And we're actually going to put the plastics back on. I saved this for the customer. Uh, did not want to throw it away. Maybe they can get somewhat of a screen peel going on as well. And now back into the original box, repack it up. Let's get their power adapter back in place. Plastic wrap is all on the still on the power adapter, so they get they can unwrap that. I mean, who doesn't like a good peel, right? You know, it's all about the peel. Put this in. This goes like that. Top of the box in place, and that's it. We're gonna pack this up and ship this to the customer, and 
they will have a stellar performing Asus ROG Ally X. Thank you for joining me for this one. Hope you join me on the next one. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.